Hello, my name is Obi. This is my wife, Aminat. We are successful farmers. We grow cocoa and additional food crops, especially cassava, to diversify our income and improve our nutrition. We have three children and are part of a cocoa cooperative that offers a variety of different services for us. Our experience with our cocoa farm has been very good. We earn a lot of money from sales. And we still have enough nutritious food for our family and feed for our animals. We learned how to produce quality cassava using good agricultural practices from the Farmer Business School. Do you want to be like us? Follow us and learn about our secrets. We choose a sunny plot of land with a well-drained loamy soil. We use fields where we grew maize, beans, soybeans, cowpeas or groundnuts the season before. These soils are fertile and will help my cassava to grow well. We avoid using land on which cassava was grown in the previous season because cassava drains the soil. This also stops cassava diseases from spreading. Together with my wife, I clear the land with hoe and cutlass. After clearing the land, we put the residues on the side of the field in heaps to dry. This way, the nutrients are not getting lost. If the weeds were contagious, we burned them. We use cords and pegs and measure a field with 100 by 100 meters. This gives us 10,000 square meters or one hectare. This is also equivalent to two and a half acres. Knowing the size of our plot helps us to calculate the right quantity of inputs needed. I can manage the money we need throughout the year much better. I can also project the income from cassava and check at the end of the year if we did good business with quality cassava. We prepare the soil well to grow good quality cassava. Since we are members of our cooperative, they offer us the service of plowing and harrowing our field with a tractor. This saves us a lot of time. Another option is to use animal traction for preparing the field. We have to calculate very carefully if it saves us money. Last year, we worked the soil manually with the hoe at a depth of 20 to 25 centimeters. To get a good seed bed, we harrowed it afterwards and also leveled the field with a rake or flat wooden bar. Before planting, we clear the plot from all weeds. We do this manually, which is better for the environment than spraying a pre-emergence herbicide. To get the best results, we always choose improved cassava varieties because they are strong against diseases and insects and will give me good yields. Here you can see the improved cassava varieties, which have been developed and which are recommended by the research institutes working on cassava. Our cooperative offers good stems with enough eyes on them and with no injuries. Our extension agents approved of them. We order our cassava cuttings or prepare them well in advance. This way, we have them well before it's time to plant. They should be 20 to 25 centimeters long and have four to five eyes. We need 10,000 cassava cuttings for one hectare but we recommend to buy 10,100 to replace the non-germinated ones. Planting cassava cuttings in lines makes all other work easier. For this reason, I peg my field. I start pegging after we have cleaned the field. I put pegs in one meter by one meter distances. When the rain starts, we make heaps or mounds on my field. This way, the soil gets more air and the roots of cassava develop well. We bury any plant residue when we make heaps to enrich the soil. We make heaps of 30 to 40 centimeters high 
at the place of each peg. At the same time, when the rain starts, we plant the cassava cuttings for good germination. We plant one cutting per hip, put the cutting in the hole and slant it. Two thirds of the cutting have to be covered by the soil. We make sure that at least two eyes of the cutting are above the soil and turned upwards. For the second planting season, when the rain is going, we bury the cuttings completely. Fifteen to twenty-one days after planting, we replace the cuttings on our field which have not germinated. I remove each dead cutting and plant another cutting of the same variety at the same place. This way, we keep the number of plants on the field stable. We steal the food and water which our cassava plants need to grow well. This is why I weed manually. I destroy the weeds on the field and heap up the soil around the feet of the plants. This way, our field is very clean and the plants grow well. I do a first manual weeding three to four weeks after planting. Crickets, mites and small spiders attack my cassava plants. Between planting and harvest, we regularly observe the field. If we notice that the cassava plants are attacked by insects, we spray the field. We spray insecticides when we find a lot of young crickets. If there are only a few adult crickets scattered across the field, we do not spray. We always follow the rules of safe use and management of pesticides when using them. When cassava tubers start to grow, eight weeks after planting, I apply mineral fertilizer. This fertilizer gives the plants the food they need and helps them to grow, be healthy, and to produce nice big cassava tubers. Fertilizer is expensive. To know the correct quantity, we measure it carefully. I apply the fertilizer in a circle around the plant on the upper third of each heap, making sure the fertilizer does not touch the stem or leaves. Then I cover the fertilizer with soil. These are the latest fertilizer recommendations. I do a second manual weeding 78 months after planting. We start to harvest cassava roots 10 months after planting when the soil is moist. To harvest cassava, we cut the stem at the height of my knees with a machete. Afterwards, we pull out the roots from the soil. We separate the cassava tubers without causing injuries to them to reduce spoilage. We can harvest cassava until the 18th month after planting. I only harvest when I have a market for cassava or other farmers for cuttings. We can store cassava in sacks for one to two weeks. We cover the sacks with a plastic sheet or tarpaulin and keep this in the open. If we want to store it for up to three weeks, we dig a hole of two meters by two meters and one meter deep. We put the cassava in the hole, cover it with soil and make a shed over the pit. To get a better price for our cassava, we organize the selling together with our farmer group. Our farmer group has contracts with buyers of cassava and we sell cassava as a group. By using good agricultural practices and quality input products, we harvested 25 tons of cassava per hectare. Now you know our secrets of doing good business with quality cassava. We wish you good luck and a lot of success.